In Crawford County, voters have a health-related issue on the ballot. They'll decide whether or not to add fluoride to the county's water supply. Ashlyn Webb talked with the Crawford County Water Superintendent about the vote and also with the Macon Water Authority and what they've seen from using fluoride for the past few decades. Fluoride started being fed into the water as early as the late 1940s and early 1950s, and it became even more common in the 60s and 70s. But now Crawford County voters will have the chance to decide on whether or not they want this added to their drinking water. Mark Weislick with the Megan Water Authority says 95% of the state's water systems have fluoridated water. The main benefit is that fluoride reduces the chances of tooth decay. William Patton, water superintendent for Crawford County, says during a routine survey in April of this year, the state environmental protection division said they had to start feeding it into the water or allow citizens to vote on it. Patton says he's personally against it, but it's up to the people. It's just one more acid, one more chemical that you're adding to the drinking water. There, there are studies, and you know, studies studies go as far as the people who want them to go. That there's uh, thyroid problems, Alzheimer's, things like that are all related to the the feeding of fluoride. But you know, there are studies that show that it's not science and the Centers for Disease Control, Department of Public Health. Uh, there have been extensive studies about the benefits of fluoride. When fluoride is added, the amounts that we do is actually very, very beneficial and does not cause any harm. Patton says this decision will impact the drinking water in Crawford County as well as the city of Musella. He says the city of Roberta has had fluoride in its drinking water for decades. Reporting in Crawford County, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Maisie News. Mark Weislick with the Macon Water Authority says adding fluoride in drinking water costs them 53 cents per year per customer. And it in turn, he says, helps with dental hygiene for folks who live in the area.